Hello everyone, welcome to the home program exercise series. My name is Bapecho Mundi, a practicing pediatric occupational therapist. So we've been able to cover a few things in Mata's home program and I've been sharing tips all through. So today we're going to talk about planning, planning the home program. But before we do planning, we'll do a bit of recap of what we, we have been discussing. So one of the areas we covered in the previous session was about scheduling a home program. So we discussed three things that you need to consider when scheduling. Timing, what is the best timing for you? What is the best timing for your child? What is the best timing for both of you? So you need to consider that. The other thing we need to consider is the combination. What activities should you combine or can you combine? And the last thing we talked about was participation. So today we are going to talk about planning of the home program. And the question is, do we really need to plan for a home program? The answer is yes. There are spontaneous moments, but the majority of uh, the home program should be planned, should be done within a certain time frame, should be consistent. So in matters planning, I'll share a visual prompt that will help us follow through uh, in terms of planning. What do we need to plan? How, what are the aspects we need to consider during planning? So a few things yet again, just three. <laughs> Looks like three is the main aspects of the tips and things we're discussing. It's three, three, three. But yes, let's look at it. So three. So the first thing that we need to do is outline the set of activities to be done. What I can say about this is that you need to be able to know which activities would you like to do for that day, or even which activities should be done within the week, within two weeks, within the month. So this is as per your, your, your agreement with the therapist or by your preferences, but you need to outline them. Let's say, for example, if it is training sitting, training in rolling, training in claw crawling, you need to be able to outline the activities. And the other thing is that when you outline the activities, you need to set out the resources that you need in advance. For example, if we need to do fine motor skills, maybe you need paint brushes, paint. You need to set these things out in advance. So if I'm going to do it tomorrow, then I need to arrange them in a way today. But if you're spontaneous, as long as you know what you need to do, then you can get them the resources just before the session, before your session at home starts. The other thing is you need to put the exact time and date that you're going to do the home program. So if this week I'm saying I'm working on training and rolling, I need to say I'll do training and rolling on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then I can say I can train in feeding on Tuesday and uh, Thursday. And then maybe I can work on playground skills on Saturday. So you have to really direct so that you can, you can be able to do them. Uh, at the beginning, you can even set alarms, alert, put visual reminders, sticky notes, write on the whiteboard, whatever that works best for you. So those are the three I would like to share today. And yeah, have fun doing your home program. Have fun scheduling your home program. Next, we are going to look at now participation and doing the home program itself. So see you in the next video. Have a nice time.